Hello, good afternoon. How is everyone? The game has opened in the tiniest square imaginable, like it's 300 by 300 by the looks of it. I can't even read the settings to change it, good lord. Um, I think that's right. Let's disable full screen. There we go. And then enable it again. There we go. I think that's better. Well, I'm surprised how easily Streamlabs cooperated with such an old game. Right, we'll play on... Was it Master Difficulty I did last time? I guess we'll just do that again. Two most important keys, F6 and F7. Uh, is that Heal and Bandage, by any chance? At 0123, on April 26, 1986, the reactor of power block 4 of Chernobyl NPP quick seven, quick was load. destroyed no, by we don't a need series that. of thermal explosions. Fine. The resulting radioactive cloud moves across the European part of the USSR, Eastern Europe, and Scandinavia, eventually reaching America. The consequences of the disaster are so serious that the government is forced to begin evacuating the residents of nearby towns and villages. A 30-kilometer exclusion zone is created to stop residents from returning to the contaminated area. Despite the disaster, the Chernobyl NPP continues to operate. The existence of a power station, as well as the fact that the area is no longer inhabited, leads the Council of Ministers of the USSR to set up a network of secret laboratories in the exclusion zone. June 11, 2006. The exclusion zone lights up with a flash of blinding light as clouds can be seen evaporating in the sky. After a moment of complete silence, the peal of thunder shakes the ground. Most of the government forces guarding the perimeter are killed instantly. 2008. Scientists are still unable to explain what happened. Rare expeditions into the zone usually end in tragedy, with survivors telling stories of mutated animals with incredible abilities roaming the area. According to various estimates, by 2010, the zone is home to between one and 300 unknown individuals. They call themselves stalkers, and make their living by collecting anomalous formations known as artifacts, which they sell for considerable sums of money. 2011. Despite military cordons, the stalker phenomenon is growing in numbers. However, stalkers travel primarily around the zone's edges, with the center remaining terra incognita. The few attempts to penetrate deeper into the zone have all ended in failure. 2012, a stalker called Straylock solves the secret of the brain scorcher, a man-made emitter that had blocked the way to the center of the zone for years. After the brain scorcher is disabled, all stalkers rush for the center of the zone, some in hopes of finding a treasure trove of artifacts, others in search of the wish granter. The government decides to launch a large-scale military operation. Operation Fairway, as it came to be known, involves using maps of anomaly fields to maneuver helicopters to the CNPP. Despite meticulous preparation, the operation is a failure, and none of the helicopters return from the mission. Major Dektarev, a USS special agent, is sent into the zone to investigate the disappearance of the helicopters. 
disguised as a stalker, equipped with a regular assault rifle, two weeks worth of supplies, and a radio to communicate with HQ. The Major begins his journey towards the center of the zone. And suddenly we're in. Oh god, this sensitivity is dreadful. One second. Uh, controls. Up the sensitivity a little bit. Usually I'm turning sensitivity way, way down. Uh, it's a little bit too high. Broken English version of the intro. Yeah, all of the years were worn ahead by the looks of it. Okay, there we go. That'll do, I suppose. What have I got? I've got a pistol as well. I oh, yeah, my trusty knife. And has the game crashed? Apparently the game crashes if you try and scroll past knife. Um, I'll have to remember that. The FOV feels a bit, um, out of place. Oh yeah, there's people in front of me as well, isn't there? I remember the beeping. It tells me where everybody is. So if I remember right, the people with the stars you can talk to. Uh, how do I put my gun away? Put your weapon away, man. Hang on. Controls. How do I do this? Um, under battle launcher. Do I just press the same button? Or just use a weapon slot with no weapon in it. Because that just gets my knife out. Oh, there we go. Okay. I don't just keep walking away from me. Nearest camp. Okay, we have a map marker. Any jobs, maybe? Ah, oh, there's the trade button. It was right in front of my face. Got a grenade launcher and a sausage. What do I have that I don't want? I guess I kind of need all my stuff really, don't I? Oh well. Let's keep moving. How the hole. bad the recoil was. Hey there, Nanda. If I remember right as well, you can't actually loot anything from any of these bodies, can you? No. Alright. So... Mutants are just a waste of ammo, in a sense. But there could be something in these birds. Maybe. Remember there being a massive focus on a lot of hidden stashes around the map. But it has been so long since I played this. Here's something in front of me. Two versions of the Stalker Camp dialogue. I'm playing on Master Difficulty, so this will be the uh, the harder version of it. A bit more extortionate, I see. Yeah, I do remember the Bandit Camp. There's like a Bandit Camp right next to the bird, isn't there? And you get to choose who you side with, the Bandits or the Stalkers. Wants to see you. The I, I remember this. Okay, what kind of job? Shit, 
check some people down, okay. Um, I think the best thing that I could have done with this was, um, I spoke to Beard, and then warned him about it, right? And then I ended up, did I get a discount for this, or? Why the mods put you by sawmill? I'm not playing with any mods. Hello. Hmm. Oh, maybe the gunslinger mod you're using. Right, that makes more sense. Okay, so yeah, this will be like our our first entry into this. So, so you, you got anything new? I've asked everywhere, but it's useless. Nobody knows the thing. Alright, plenty of jobs to do. No, that sunny bitch no. is going to regret running away. Goodbye. Hang in there, buddy. One, um, weren't a lot of these missions time sensitive as well? Hey, Stalker, come here. I got a question for you. I could have sworn some things were time sensitive at least. Drop in if something interesting comes up. Skadovsk won't be going so. anywhere, that's for sure. Okay, how do I trigger this? Okay, stay with you. Let's go. I'm also getting hungry. First time played COP, no idea about telling Bird and just went with the bandit line. Yeah, um, I don't really see the value in doing the bandit line to be honest. I think it's probably a lot more profitable in the long run just to stay in good faith with the settlement, right? We'll give it to him good. Hey, what's going on? Take a chill pill, man. That is a grenade that I can't get away from. Uh, I probably hit them a bit early, but at least I get a chance to loot while everybody else is busy, right? I'll take everything. Did he drop a rifle anywhere? No, not that one. There was a third guy a bit further back as well. Don't really know where he went though. Well, everybody else cleaned up. Ah, there he is. Dropped a grenade there. It's a shotgun. Take the grenade. Don't talk to any of these people, but I can take the stuff, which I'm always more than happy to do. And then there's this guy upstairs I can get a reward from, I believe. Oh, is he downstairs? Yeah, he must have been downstairs. Unless he's up here.
No, I love you. So we've got anti-radiation drugs, we've got vodka, stash coordinates, bandages, first aid kits, anti-radiation drugs. Alright, decent amount of supplies to start myself off with. Alright, we have... It's a better AK, isn't it, than the one I started with. It's damaged though, so if we can fix that up, that'll be good. Um... Oh yeah, you can unload all the guns, can't you? Let's get the ammo back. Just unload all of those. I got another anomaly detector. What was that? Is it something like a... Uh? Yeah, it was uh. Oh. And then was it six for the bolt? Yeah. Okay. That'll be good to remember. I right, gotta head on back, do some trading. Ah, oh, the inventory management. There was so much inventory management to do in this game, wasn't there? Well, that guy's not interested in talking anymore. Some bandits are planning to buy a batch of weapons. Sounds good. Weird glow at the dredge station. I remember all of this. He doesn't want to buy any of this stuff, does he? There's an energy drink. Some vodka. I think I need this for the, um, the mechanic, right? The guy who does all the weapon repairs. Alright, so... Should probably we're going to use that one, right? Um, PMM. Which uses 9x18. 9x18. By 18. It's 9 by 19. You should probably use 9 by 19 pistol, right? It'll do a bit more damage. Uh, which one's the best? Alright, oh, yeah, you do need to sell it to L, don't you? Should we use the Martha, I guess? Playing chess. Okay. Best of luck. Uh, is there anything here I want to keep in my storage? I don't think so. That will sell the rest of this stuff. What are you? A statue? If you got something, spill the beans. If not, take a hike. Wait, didn't I, um... Didn't I work out, like, a formula for repairing stuff at one point? I'm trying to remember what it was. Um... I think if it was more than two blips down in your inventory, it wasn't worth trying to repair anymore. Is that right? Like that it cost too much to fix it that you wouldn't actually profit from selling it? Okay, um, how much is all this going to cost? 144, 1000, Jesus. It's a lot of money to fix this stuff. Howdy. 
Get an air care from the guy hanging around by the door. Yeah, I remember that. Um, it's a box, isn't it? You've got to find a box in a car for him. And then you have to, like, divvy up the loot. But it, um... It wasn't actually his stuff. How do you give it away to him? It just says repair. How do you, how do you donate it to him? You can cut him out? Yeah, I think you just bring it to Carden and he opens it for you, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I never knew you could donate stuff. Is that part of one of your mods or is that part of the base game? Gunslinger again? Yeah, no problem. No problem. Yeah, I think it... I'm gonna go with two blips in the inventory because I spent a while looking at it and working out what the best thing to do was. Uh, I guess I'll keep the AK that I started with. Just in case. Um... Probably can do with dropping off some of this stuff as well. I don't need that, so I can sell that. Um, okay, I'll keep five anti radiation drugs and I'll try and keep ten of each type of med. I don't need the vodka, I'm gonna keep that for the trader. 9 by 19, 545 by 39. Yep, I do need that. I'm not going to need the shotgun shells, and I'll keep hold of five grenades, I think. And then the rest of these guns I don't actually have a use for, so I guess I can just drop them. And here's Nimble. I don't have any money left anyway, so I can't buy anything from him. What else do I have? Literally just stuff to drop, yeah. So who can I sell, um, I think it's Owl, isn't it, that I can sell this, uh, detector to? Yeah, 110 rubles for that. This one's a better detector, but it's really expensive. It's a PSO scope. Hmm, a bit more ammo, maybe. Yeah, that's really expensive. I can't afford any of this. Uh, you got another job? No more jobs, okay. Mission lock. Find the stalker. I believe it took a long time to do that. Stalker's by the ranger station. Mercenary camp, tools. Okay, let's do the transaction. Which is... Just south and then follow the pipe for a bit. Hello. I think I should probably sleep until morning, shouldn't I? It's probably for the best. And also I want to put my bread over there instead. Failed to meet the stalkers by the ranger station. God damn it, I knew some of this stuff was time sensitive. Yeah, the mission did expire. What's going on? You take them easy. Oh god, that put me really far back. Do I care about that? Um, oh, I can't go back now. It's a real pain. The recall on it? Yeah, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Like, you fire once and you're looking at the ceiling. Marie, 
Все, мужики, отбой. Не расходиться. Ждем. Alright, I guess I'll just try and get back to where I was as quick as possible. And I won't take any new jobs until I've slept until the morning. Oh, the guy I need to talk to isn't even in the boat yet. I can't even get past either, I'm just being pushed constantly. Yeah, I don't know if they're usually that bad though, then. This guy's supposedly a major in an army. So you would have thought he'd have learned to use his gun properly by now. Hello. Well, good luck to you. All right. Let's deal with the inventory now. Unload that. Unload everything. What was that I was using? It's this one, wasn't it? Martha. Yeah. We'll take that. Unload everything else. Did it have gun jamming mechanics? I don't remember. I don't remember it having gun jamming mechanics. The guns just have condition, and when they get worse, they get really inaccurate and difficult to use. I feel like I don't have anywhere near as much ammo as last time. Yeah, I feel like I'm lacking in supplies compared to uh, before that serve. Howdy ho! Oh, the gun was much cheaper to repair this time. What are you? A statue? If you got something, spill the beans. If not, take a hike. Okay. Um, PDA. It wasn't that one, was it? It's the one back here. This is the mission that I took and that, that expired. So let's um save before I sleep, and then we'll try that again. Save game. Um. Yes. Return sleep to 6 a.m. Hey, bro. Okay, now can I pick the mission up? I'll help you deal with the bandits. Yeah, now I can pick it up. And that's the dredge station. I remember the dredge station being um, unlimited time. Well, hello.
Was there a way to set something as your destination? I don't remember if there was or if I just had to follow stuff. Like, that one's kind of marked now. Is that where my compass is pointing? Okay, yeah, it is good. Yeah, the dredge station is one that I remember doing a while past the, um, the opening missions. That is a dead man with nothing on him. Probably killed by that thing, I guess. Unless he was shot and looted. I also remember being able to break into some of these boxes. Not all of them, but some of them. Yeah, you see how much better this, um, this recoil is compared to the damaged weapon, Nanda? From the one that just went straight up to the ceiling. Don't let the center see. these here artifacts, and we can get more of them. In exchange, we're looking for weapons and some good equipment. You know that I've got whatever duty's got, so weapons and equipment are not a problem. All my stuff is top quality, no doubt about it. Well, that clears things up. Take them down. Oh, we didn't wait very long for that, did we? Yes! Someone, yep, someone said something about a grenade. Oh, that's one of us there. There's a dead man. Who's an ally and who's uh, not in that dark room? Okay, you're not friendly, I don't think. Oh wow! <laughs> I forgot how fast you just got blasted. Uh, last save. Where was my last save? Was it in the bed? Oh no. Auto saved me right here. 
Come on, man. Put that weapon away. Don't let the sentry see you. Yeah, the gear you start with is really bad. Really, really bad. What have you got? Show me. Look, we've got these here artifacts. So lower GPU usage. In exchange, we're looking for What's the problem with your GPU? You, know that I've got whatever you don't necessarily want low usage. If you've got a processor, you want to be using as much of it as possible, so high usage isn't necessarily a bad thing unless it's like high 80s or 90s, right? That was a grenade that went off right next to me. Stop pushing me. What is wrong with these people? There's only four people on my scanner, so that means there's us plus one person. There he is. And I just got grenaded by a friendly. Yeah, temperature's probably a good place to start looking. Um, the, ho the hotter a processor is, the less efficient it is in terms of power usage. So you generally want to look at your thermal solution and then work backwards from there. Like, if it is overheating, then try and find a way to solve that. Like, um, maybe your fans aren't working properly, or maybe you need to um, change settings on whatever um, tweaking tool you're using for your cooling. Um, power draw won't necessarily be a, that much of an issue either, because if it's not able to pull the full amount of power, it won't necessarily get to high usage, it just won't work properly. Like, you'll start to notice things like your display dimming, if there isn't enough power being supplied to display components. Wow, okay, so he pushed me off the body, which closed the UI and almost made me shoot him. Nice. Um, yeah, if your PC is overheating, when components get to, a, like, 100 Celsius, that is when your PC will be forced to shut down. So you want to make sure that you don't get that. So your fans might be broken, if that's the case, if it's getting that hot. These guns are ruined as well. None of them are actually worth keeping. is there to loot. There's definitely going to be a few stashes around here as well. Unload. 
Let's take all this stuff. Just not the pistol. Yeah, if your GPU fan isn't working properly, you definitely need to fix that, because that will be why you're overheating. Uh, yeah, I know about the faction. Um, before, I didn't give it to either faction. I just kind of stayed neutral in everybody's affairs, and didn't get a chance to experience any of their quest lines. So this time around, I want to actually give it to a faction and see what happens. Because I know there's, like, side quests you can do for each faction. But you can't actually, like, properly befriend them without giving that PDA to one of them in specific. Like, it's a really dumb requirement that you have to do something with that PDA to be able to, um, interact with a faction properly. But I guess that's just how the game is. Can't go in there. Okay, so where are some of these stashes I'm getting markers for? Um... It's a helicopter crash. Helicopter crash. Okay, here's some of the stash markers. Like those, those are stash markers. And I remember everything that's kind of blurry you can't actually access. Okay, so I have a stash marker just there. Let's zoom back in. So I go to the very left-hand side wall, and it should be in a little building. I think I saw a guardhouse out that side. Or is it just part of this larger building? Yeah, that was the guardhouse, so yeah, it must be in here. And it'll be up on top there, won't it? Where are we looking? It's a bit further back, apparently, and you can just fall straight through the floor. That's fine. Oh, well, that's where it was. Is that a shotgun I picked up? Full quality shotgun, actually, yeah, so we can keep that and sell it. Or use it, maybe. I guess we just head back to the boat now because we should be able to get a reward. Aren't there some bandits down here at these cranes as well? You know what, let's save now that we've gone past there. We'll save. Just in case we get shot up down here considering we've done quite a bit. There's a yellow guy up there, which makes him neutral. Let's see if they've got any stuff I can steal. Any free stuff. Why do they keep just walking away from me? Uh, what are you up to? Alright, trade. Taking medicine and stuff from you. Um, will you buy this ammo? I'm not using all the shotgun, maybe. So sell that for twelve hundred and buy that for nine hundred. Um, I'm just gonna hang on to all my ammo. Howdy ho! But at least I got some medicine in exchange for that shotgun. locked, so we'll have to come back here later, I guess. 
Have we closed to any other um, objectives? Collect our reward and the dredge station. No, I'll just go back for the reward. Yeah, I think I remember what the, the shack is for. But you know what, I'm interested to see if anybody died up here. Fighting these mutants. I want to say no to some uh, free stuff. Yeah, if I remember what it is, I think I, I know why you feel that way. This was the body I looted last time, wasn't it? Yeah. I couldn't pick anything up off of it because it was empty anyway. Oh yeah, the guy has died here. So that is a gun, and... Oh, he needs a med kit. Okay, take this. Is he not going to give me a reward? Or do I get his ammo for cheap? Apparently not. I could buy the med kit back. No, we're fine. I'm all ears, buddy. At least I got his gun. I don't know if that was a fair trade. Oh no, this gun was ruined. At least I got ammo for it. Hey, Felix. No, it's, it's a side quest in there, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I do remember right then. Okay, where's my reward? 3500. Okay, I guess that's all. Um, hmm. I remember having a massive surplus of food. I don't know if it's worth, like, trying to get rid of some of it. Was that Hercules? Oh, for wit, that's fine. So I'll keep I'll keep one energy drink and one Hercules just for like emergencies. I think I'll need more than five grenades at once. Let's see if we can get this radiation poisoning treated. What's up? that free okay I guess it was free yes, of course. so you got anything Bye. new yeah I know there's a lot of mods I'm not interested in playing with any of them though okay uh, mission log mercenary camp down here we can do that Hmm. I'm just going to save quickly before I talk to Al about this PDA, because I think you can talk to him about it, can't you? Uh, save. Yes. Four thousand. Ah, uh, yeah, we don't want to do this, do we? Stalker sided achievement. Yeah, I think I've already done um already done the stalker one. Alright, so we've got to find three Velas detectors. He has a bear, doesn't he? I feel tempted to buy the bear detector. Because it's just gonna make it so much easier to find um to find artifacts. Should I take it? Sure, let's take it. Why not? Can I replace mine? 
which is basically useless. At least it gives me a bit of directional cover for when I'm looking for artifacts. Hey, stalker. How are you? Okay, um, where was I usually- Attention, stalkers! An emission oh, God. is approaching. Okay. Fine. I repeat, an emission is approaching. Seek cover immediately. I guess Hello. we've got to wait. So, um, anybody got any stories while we're waiting? Sparrow, yeah, wasn't that one of the detectors? I do remember getting, like, a ridiculous detector that basically made it impossible for me to not find artifacts. I'm listening. Yeah, as far as the LP one. I spent so long farming artifacts just to, um, get weapons from this guy as well, I think. What brings you to our humble vessel? Oh, apparently this isn't cover. You're not actually in cover if you stand in this part of the boat. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go run and grab a drink quickly, so I'll leave you all with the, um... with the emission. Have fun. I'll be right back. Заколебало уже тут париться. Ни подогрева толкового, ни хрена. Start talking, buddy. Ну и какого мы сюда приперлись? Бугру типа виднее. Но меня лучше пацанов спросил. Не, ну реально. На свал глохов трясти по любасу наваристей. Ну, короче, анекдот. Два братана сидят, трендят. Один такой, слышь, братан, мы же с тобой с малолетки перешаемся. А ну давай я тебе на память что-нибудь наколю. Второй такой, о, ничего так тема. Давай типа танк на спине. Ну только чтоб красиво сечешь. Тот такой, обижаешь, опупенно будет, зуб на его. Проходит пять минут. Кольчик такой, сошибись. Готово! Второй такой. Опа! А чё так быстро? А хули? Там всего четыре буквы. How they haul?
All right, I'm back. Did the anomaly finish? Hey, bro. I'm guessing yes. Yep, it did. Is it nighttime outside? Nope, it's daytime. All right then. So we're going to the mercenary camp now, right? Let's go down and do that. I think Stalker 2 is definitely something I'm going to pick up. I'm going to play through it. Probably quite a bit. Depending on how many factions are in there. If it's like all the classic ones or if they introduce new ones, I might try and do a playthrough of each faction. Oh, it's on UE5. Okay. Now, there's something that's supposed to happen up here that I'm anticipating that hasn't happened yet. I can remember, like, bits and pieces from bits that I did in the game, and I don't know when they're going to trigger again. So it's like I remember everything. I just don't remember when it happens. Just going to be a little bit on edge. Is there enough free stuff up here? Yeah, you're supposed to get um you're supposed to get ambushed by some of Sultan's men because you turned your back on him. Nimble's weapons. Is that what it was from? Hello, Shada. GPU prices have dropped quite a lot actually, yeah. You're not coming this way, are you? No, you're just running in circles. Yeah, finally there's enough stock that prices are going to start going down, but I think retailers are kind of trying to bleed them down, rather than um, just dropping them outright, because obviously, you know, it's more profitable for them. But even companies like um, NVIDIA have started saying that um, production costs have gone down a massive amount. got a 3060. I'm still using my 970. I've still got a Strix 970. Hasn't failed me yet. I was very, very close to getting a new GPU recently though. Um, it was a, like a professional graphical one. I, like I know graphical is in graphics processing, you know, I'd like I get that, but um, you know what I mean. It was one that only pulled power from the motherboard, but had the performance of, like, a 2060 or something. So considering, like, the performance of- oh, I remember this thing. It's great big wedge through the sky. Can I go around this? Yeah, I just need to head south from here. I don't know, I think the GPU market's in a really weird place, and it always has been. No, no, not the 970. Um, a new GPU I was considering getting. Now, if I remember right, there is a stealth section here, isn't there? Right then, so I will save. Yes, I will save. Now let's try and do a bit of stealth. Off with you, while you still got legs. Can I not get up here? No, I guess not.
Yeah, the uh, the 900 series cards were really good. Like, I can play Final Fantasy XV on pretty high settings with it. And that game chews up VRAM like crazy. So on a 4GB card, making that game look good is... You know, it's not too bad. Is there anything in here I can take? Not really. So why in here? The memories on that bridge? Isn't that like a, um, like a, a goo container or something, or a file or whatever that you can get on that bridge? Get spotted there. Almost got spotted. Okay, we can go into here pretty well. We get past the door guard this way. If I remember right, you can get inside from the top of those pipes. Was it these pipes? Oh yeah, I can get through here. Okay. Okay. Drop that retard. What's with the combat music? They don't know I'm here. Like that guy only just got a detection indicator. Yeah, they don't actually know I'm here. Did it just bug out and I get detected, maybe? It's like they know I'm here, but they don't know I'm here. I didn't make any noise, either. I, I guess I can try it again? Well, we know the way to get in, but if it doesn't work this time, I'll just shoot them, I suppose. Off with you, while you've still got legs. Okay, he almost fully detected me there, despite me not being detected there last time. That is a bit weird, I'm going to admit.
Are you using a VPN or something, Nanda? Are you, like, um, going off of German server through a VPN? Because that might have something to do with it. Who saw me? Oh, whatever. Let's just shoot them all. Well, let's wait here for a little bit, see if any of them lose aggro, and then we'll try and get the drop on them. you when you enter the building, then how are you supposed to do the stealth section? I know you can stealth it. Yeah, because you drop out here and then you interact with that laptop, and then you get back in the pipe and run out. And then you dumb that guy because he was just stood next to the pipe for some reason. Well, okay. That was close. Forgot how good their guns were compared to mine. Drop weapons when killed? Yes, they do. The only thing you can't take is their armor. I think that was a bit of a self-grenade. I just um, cleaned the guy up there afterwards. Let's see if any of the others are going to funnel their way up. Oh yeah, all the guns they drop are usually in terrible condition. I really don't want to drop onto this grill because, um, I take a ton of damage just getting shot through it. Kind of want to wait for them to come to me first. Alright, that's another one dead. If they all come up here, then it's going to be easier to loot them all as well, anyway. Which makes a noise by jumping about to get them to come up here. Yeah, there's another one close. Could hear one up here somewhere. Six left. Good 
God. Alright, thanks for stopping by, JR. Nice to see you. I had a hard time detecting if that was a, a living or a dead person. But now they're very dead. Alright, three left. They like that corner, though. There's one just up here. He reloaded. Yep, there he is. Okay, he's hurt, but he had, like, some power armor or something on, I guess. Can't detect you if they're all dead. That's kind of the plan at this point. Um, a bureau is the one that look like little goblins that just throw stuff at you constantly. So I remember them being a massive nuisance. Yeah, that's them. Awful things. You know what the funny thing about this is? I can't even get out of this pipe. That was me holding W. They could pop shields. Yeah, they just hold their hand up and you can't shoot them. Oh, look, Ratching, I forgot that was a thing. What was the key for it again? Or X. Yeah, it's Control and X. So you got to crouch and then press X. Yeah, that looks like it. You know, we've been in this pipe for a while, so I'm actually going to save before we get out of the pipe. Just because I don't want to have to wait all that time again. Of course there was another one in this corner, right? Where else would he be? hear him. I think he's underneath me. Yeah, they can also knock your weapon out of your hand as well, because when you get hit with an object, you lose stamina. So at one point I had one knock my weapon out of my hand. And then, um... And then throw my weapon, and it went through the, through the world. And let me tell you, that was not fun. Okay. 
Let's have a look at some of these guns. Unload those. Unload those. Which one has the best condition? This one. So I'll drop that one. Unload and drop these. Don't think any of these are really worth keeping. Unload. Drop. Uh, what pistol is this? It's a 45 ACP one. Does that suppressor go onto my pistol, though? Oh, I think I need to get it threaded first, don't I? How do you do this again? You can't just drag it on, right? Okay, now I can't put the suppressor back on for some reason. I remember quite liking the walker as a pistol. So I think I'm going to equip that. Can I make me jump? No, I fired my gun. <laughs> of course my mouse is going to jump if I fire my gun. You know what game I'm playing, don't you? Oh, I can't actually attach any attachments anymore. Oh, they have to be equipped for me to be able to do that. And then I can drag them on. That is really bizarre. Yeah, that's how it works, apparently. Was there anybody else? I think I've searched all of these bodies, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, there's the big pile of ruined guns. Uh, let's head downstairs. There was a guy downstairs I can loot. Well, that one actually might be able to sell. Attach the suppressor off of that one. Get rid of all the other ones we're not going to be able to sell. We'll keep hold of this because this takes a different ammo type. This is um, 545, or 556 rather, by 45. Okay, so we need to take that information back to, I guess, L. So we'll head back down and do that. That, informa that information, that animation's the one I like. He spins it around when you get it out. I think I'm going to wait until I have a better anomaly detector before I go up on that bridge. I also need to stay up here so I can go around this um, great big psionic scar before I head back down south. Free electricity? Um, not when it kills me, no. Not particularly. Is it just the electricity ones that are up there? I could have sworn there was an anomaly that threw me off the bridge at one point.
That was quite the fall I didn't mean to take. Oh yeah, I remember it being really heavy. to see anomalies and me dying to set anomalies? Well, I was going to suggest after I hand this quest in that I go look at an anomaly and see if I can find some artifacts. So, yeah, I guess you'll get to see that. They're not too difficult to avoid once you get, like, um, a directional detector. Like, I think the bear one I picked up is directional. Because you can just, like, endlessly hey, throw that. bolts out. And then you can find out exactly where they are, like, how far away from you they are. So it's not too bad. What are you? A statue? Uh, you got interested the means. If not, in the mercenary camp stuff. Is that who gave me the quest? Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, that was the quest done. Any more jobs? No more jobs. Sell these pistols I don't want. Excellent. Let's see if I can get this gun that I picked up fixed up. Three hundred and nine to repair. That's not too bad. Seven hundred for a suppressor. Six one four. Oh, that's expensive, but whatever. Need to bring him tools before he can do any of this stuff. Some F1 grenades as well. I really need them, I don't think. What was this again? It's a 9mm, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Should be good to go with this stuff. We will make a save here. Yes, we will save. Now then, where do we want to go? Was it this one that I used to go to? No, it wasn't that one. Sawmill. I don't know if I'm thinking of a different area. But there was one that was really good. I remember the circus being quite funny. Which one was it? Ah, oh, the boiler up here, I think. Okay, we'll go ahead towards that. Yeah, that's Sydney. How are you doing?
on the bus home. Okay. Oh, but it's not too crowded. There's a dead body here. Oh, this is where the raid was. So I'm assuming this is marking one that I haven't looted yet. No, it's just marking this guy. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, um, so the red one isn't north. The blue one is. I'll, uh, have to remember that. Quiet but very warm. Yeah, I hate it when buses are too warm. They always say they need to keep the windows closed so the air conditioning works properly, but the air conditioning's always broken. Or at least it was back when I actually used public transport. I've been on a bus since college. Hate the things. Yeah, it was raining here a little bit ago. I've heard that it's supposed to snow at some point this week as well, but I don't know if it will. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm looking for up there. Yeah, that must be it. This is the one that's just a load of steam vents. And I remember finding some decent artifacts in here. And as far as I'm aware, you do need to get a high level detector to even be able to find some of the better artifacts, don't you? Just relax and keep moving. Yeah, the weather's been a bit forwards and backwards. See, your suit can handle it. Keep going. Oh yeah, that's why I'm stood here. I know there's um like a little hidden story bit. Help me. I'll have your gun, but you can take the med kit. Okay, well, we're done. There's an artifact in there. And he just gave me a fireball, which is, of course, an artifact as well. That one gives me thermal protection, but at the cost of radiation. I feel like I'm going to equip that now. I can't get um, the radiation fixed back at... Um, Back at the camp. There we go. That's what I was after. So that one is um, wound healing, which is a really good one. It uh, heals um, bleeds and stuff. Doesn't seem like there's any other artifacts in here though, which is unfortunate. Yeah, it's a real shame. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to get more than one, but I guess not. Oh, don't tell me I'm stuck in this hole now. No, we're good. I do need to get out of here before I die of radiation poisoning, though.
Okay, there we go. Let's take this thing off. And we probably want to use one of those. I'll be whole. Hey, bro. All right. Now, we need another artifact, don't we? We need one that reduces radiation. Um, is there any way we can get those in Zerton? I think you can get them in the Claw. So either the Claw or what was the other one? Um, trying to find it. I think it's the Claw or the Swamp. The Stormwell was a ton of zombies. The Burnt Farmstead is just more fire. Yeah, okay. Well, we can head to the dredge station on the way back. I had no idea what the inventory slots were for. Wow. <laughs> Did you just think they were, like, really, um, really valuable gems or something? Well, yeah, I made a lot of use of artifacts in the playthrough I did before. I think we went as far as um, spending ages finding where the entrance to... What was it called? Did they call it Eden or something? It was an artifact which reduced an absolute ton of radiation, so I could use some really high-level artifacts. Okay, that place is radioactive. I need to back off. And we will save before we head in here. Yes, we will save. It's an artifact in here. Blocked from the inside. Yeah, there's a box there. Can I just knife it? Can I reach it from here? There we go. I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to do it, but it's the way I did it. Oasis, right, okay. That's the one. Grenade it? Yeah, the knife works just fine. Oh, wait. I have an important email one second. Very radioactive in there. I think I do have to just go up through there, though. Because my detector's going wild for the, um, the artifact I'm supposed to be picking up. So, I don't think I can get through here, can I? Oh, yep. I remember why that was there. Don't go that way. Can I not get up this way? No, I guess that's just a lot of free radiation. Right, so we go over the jump and then behind the ship. By the looks of it. Yep, yeah, then up over the boxes. hop down that way. So the artifact's gonna be just up here. Yeah, the, uh, the wheel. And that has just made some people spawn in. I heard them pick their guns up. And there is supposedly an artifact down here.
Artifact has healing powers. Just you keep walking. You'll remember this moment that... Honestly, easiest way to go about it. He only tries to shoot me in a minute anyway. Oh, I didn't see the one on the left. Where's that going to put me back to? When I got to the boat? And when I picked the artifact up? Alright, there we go. Let's see if we can find this artifact before I head out. Or is it back this direction? It's to the left somewhere. Yeah, it's back out of the way I came. That thing skipping around in the water might have been the artifact now that I think about it. much smoother after I found out where everybody was. Did that give me his gun? It did. Alright, let's drop that again. Yeah, I think if you do that and then go back to um, the board, he just hands it in and claims the money instead of you, doesn't he? Alright, let's save before we hop back over here. Yeah, so I think that is it, isn't it? That bit right there. Did I get it? I did. Be maximum word. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Well, there you go, Nanda. We just got um, crushed by that one. And I missed the jump. Yeah, there is a lot of dying in this game. <laughs> I don't know if it actually comes as a surprise to anybody when they die playing this game. I guess there was another one there. So how do I get around that side of the pipe? Do I have to jump on it or like go around and then go from the shoreline maybe? Yeah, I can't get on top of that. So if I hop up on here, and then walk down the pipe perhaps, can I fit on top of it? Not really. Yeah, I suppose I've got to go around for that one. It's only one for carry wet anyway, and the money is not that big of a deal right now, so we'll leave it for the time being. 
Just another one of these, isn't it? Howdy ho. Alright, will you buy some of my stuff from me? No, they won't buy that. I don't really have anything else to sell, do I? No oh well. Howdy ho. So now we just go back to the boat. Was there ever a way for you to like upgrade your artifacts? You can like trade two with low tier ones for a high tier one. I'm aware that my health is slowly going down as well. I'm hoping I can get back to the boat and get uh, medical treatment before I die to radiation. I think I'm going to make it. I'm going to start moving slower soon. Hello. Oh no, I think I'll make it. I think I'm good. What's up? Yeah, right. All better. Put this stuff away for now. We really don't need to be carrying all of this. Okay. Let's get our reward for this thing. Welcome aboard. 3,000 for that and stash coordinates. Perfect. So I think I've got a lot of money now, haven't I? Yeah, 10,000. Well, that thing's ruined. There's no point even trying to sell that. Um, what else do I have? Scope. An armored suit. Well, that stuff's very expensive. Let's get some repairs. How? Okay, how much would this cost to repair? 711. There's no way I'm going to get that back. I'm listening. How do you okay, So what other quests do we have? Um, tools, magpie, and detectors. So we're at the point now where we just need to start going for one of the helicopters, right? So I think that one's probably the best one to go for first. No, not that one. Uh, not that one. This one, Stingray 5. If we go for Stingray 5 first, we can get that stash, that stash, head down there and hopefully find an anti-radiation artifact. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up for today then, since that'll be like a, a big quest to go off on next. So, it was fun. I'm glad I decided to play this a bit more again. Definitely a fun game. But yeah, thanks everybody for stopping by, and I will catch you next week for some more of this. Make sure I save first. We will save. Yes, there we go. And exit. But yeah, 